Okay, so I was about to edit this episode you're gonna watch and I realized that I need to explain a little bit what's going on. If you watched our last episode, you saw that we went on a little holiday to Cyprus. And what is happening here is that I go back to the boat and Stuart goes straight to England for a few days to just to pick up a few bits for the boat. Now there is a whole story about a big box. Um, this box is something Stuart got and didn't tell me about. So he's trying to carry this box from England on the ferry, on the train, to France. I don't know anything about this box. So I think he's just coming back with a backpack and maybe a couple of bags. And it's obviously a surprise for me. You will find out what is in the box later. Um, so that's what's going on. Stuart is just trying to get these back to France. And we're meeting in Avignon because last summer when we did the trip through the canals, we stopped in Avignon. We really liked it. And there is a sale we're picking up in Avignon. So we thought, let's just meet there. We spent one night there in an Airbnb. We really like Avignon, so we wanted to see a bit more. So yeah, we meet there, spend one night, and then go back to the boat together, carrying all this stuff <laughs> that you will see. And I don't know if you've realized, but I'm in hotel room. I'm wearing winter clothes, so well, you'll find out what it's all about in future episodes, obviously. But for now, I'll leave you with this episode and the story about the big box. <laughs> Enjoy it. So, we made it into France. Didn't get any hassle from customs. More, what is in that big box? What big box, you ask? That big box. Well. All that will be apparent. Ooh, gee, I got on half soon. So, yep, I got this and my big box. And we've got two, two Ks to the train station. So, let's get motivated. My train leaves in two hours. This is where we crossed the channel for the first time. We crossed from Brighton to Dieppe. We parked just there, one of the first pontoons, just where the boat's going past. Stage one complete. Now we've got an hour and a half before the train to Rouen, then Paris, then on the 2G view down to Avignon to get the sail. Nice. So by the end of the day, we should be home with a new sail. New to us. Fun times. Marina's waiting there in uh, Avignon. So, let's go. Hell of a lot of people coming off this train. Didn't think it was that busy. Managed to get on the train with my big box. It took a little bit of him humming and ahhing about it. But we got on. Uh, and there was a hoo ha because some people had tickets for. Can't 13, not 3, blah 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 blah. Anyway, got the box on. Alright, we made it to Raw. The guy did sort of say, yeah, it's a little bit big, but um, <laughs> what can you do? So I went to the bureau here to the tick off so I said look is it possible to pay for uh, another seat she was just like no nah, no nah, it's not possible and they all just said good luck you know uh, it's sort of at the guy's discretion but we're going into the big city so yeah let's well let's see what happens the platform's really starting to fill up we'll see just had the ticket checked they just laughed. So, uh, uh, we're gonna make it to Paris. The ticket guy just walked past and just said hello, so we're good to Paris. We've just gotta 
get this parcel off too sweet uh, before the, the happy Parisians start kicking off. City life. There's always some idiot carrying something big on the train in the city. So I'm sure it'll be alright. We'll see. The thought often goes through my mind. Why do I always seem to have loads of crap whilst travelling on the train? Who knows? There's days like today that you do miss owning your own vehicle, but where's the adventure in that? I haven't been recording much since we got back from Cyprus because I've been pretty ill. <laughs> I had the flu. But anyway, when we came back from Cyprus, I went back to the boat for a few days and Stuart went to England to collect a few things for the boat. And we have met now here in Avignon. We, we've stayed here for a night because we're picking up a sail for the boat here, a second-hand sail. Anyway, I didn't know what Stuart was bringing from the UK. I was shocked when I <laughs> saw him arrive with... This, he carried that all the way from England. Well, it's got a trolley. <laughs> he went on the ferry with these, on the train. <laughs> I, on this, I went on... The, and the underground in London? No, not the underground in London. Um, oh, in Paris? Yeah, the metro in Paris. Fuck you. Yeah. So I went on the... Uh, Nine trains in total, <laughs> and the ferry, and the metro for a couple of stops. So he, they're he, only short train rides. He put a little trolley, and he's been just dragging this thing around. Now, what is this thing? That's the question. It's Marina's birthday present. It is my birthday present, and I don't know if we're gonna be able. To, I don't know if we're gonna be able to show it to you. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, yeah. Plus but, all that. But yeah. He wasn't just carrying that, he was carrying all these bits as well. This will probably give you a clue of what it is in that box. I'm pretty excited. I'm really looking forward to try it. And what do you think about this place? Pretty cool, isn't it? Airbnb. Just one night though. So now the fun begins again. We have to carry all these plus the sail we're picking up today back to the boat. So stay tuned for the trip. <laughs> this is our current situation. Waiting at the train station. <laughs> Just waiting for the guys that's gonna bring us this sail and then we can get on the train. I'll try to get on the train with all this. One. But if the stewards made it all the way across France, I think we'll be alright for a 15 minute ride on the train. Well, saying that, one time I was carrying these roller furlings, uh, a whole tube of foils from Fairham to Brighton, and it was the bus at the end that got us to say, You ain't coming on with that. I was like, Brilliant. Well, that was that. So we'll see. Worst case scenario, we just hire a van. It's only 60 k's on the home. Hey, you seem nice. Yeah? Yeah. Nice back. Yeah, he felt bad because he's like, oh, I didn't notice that. No, oh, sorry. that's all right. Yeah, it actually looks pretty nice. Apart from that bit. Yeah, but, but that's just... It's rust. Yeah, it's, it's not broken. It's just... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, so we've got a top-down furler, and he's like, ah, oh, but it's got hanks. I was like, yeah, I'll take those off. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, I have the same. I was like, you still got your Helberg Rass? He's like, yeah, it's in Tunisia. It actually looks good. Nice. 200 bucks. How much you paid for it? 200, well, 208. Well, maybe you should say it's a spinach thing. We haven't even said anything yet. Oh, yeah, well, it's a, well, it's a Jenica. So a slightly, Jenica. Slightly different angle, but... <laughs> 200 bucks. You can't grumble. Alright, where's the There's one. Just one more thing for a pile. <laughs> I 
I think it's easier to carry on that other bag. Yeah. Oh. I brought these back from the boat because Stuart said he thinks it would be easier to carry. But at least it's more protected. Nice. We made it into the train. Just we will think about something like this. Romantic trip to Avignon. <laughs> A birthday present coming all the way from England on the ferry. <laughs> Stuart's got a hole on his trousers. Look at that. That's right. I need some new work trousers because mine, my work trousers are in one resort and I might not be working there initially. Whoa, look at the ceiling, how dirty it is. No, I think that's actually the... The pattern? No, <laughs> no that's that. <laughs> it's there, <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> and that is the sail we picked up today. Jeez, the pistons are actually still good. Yeah, I've never seen a Jenica like this, but uh. So he's got the hooks. It's a hankum, but we'll take them off and put it on our roller ferry. It's yeah, I've never. <laughs> yeah, there's some mosquitoes already, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a hank a hank on gen uh, Jenica, but uh, we're gonna treat it more like a. Uh, well, we'll take the pistons off and put it on the furler, see what happens. Oh, come on. Oh, but he's really pretty and he's in pretty good shape. Yeah, hey, for 200 bucks. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Well, well, uh, hold on. Well, you have. <laughs> Who finds a bargain? Because <laughs> I spend my days playing the bon coin. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay, let's put it away. Uh, we're back in the boat yard. The weather is turning. The summer is almost over. We've got two weeks until we have to go back to work. And I've just opened my birthday present. I'm so happy. <laughs> Look at that. That's my very own sailing boat. So we're going to be a tinker for my birthday. I've always said I wanted a sailing dinghy. So, got it now. And that's the rudder. With the little tiller. This is the roller friendly. Look, the cutest thing. He's got a little roller fairly. Look at that. <laughs> the main sails got buttons, but look at the size of them. <laughs> it's like a, a little toy boat. <laughs> so this is going to be our tender and our toy. Look at the size of the mast. Woohoo! <laughs> it's got wooden oars. Now is when things get interesting because if this project gets too much, I might sail away. <laughs> okay, we'll see if he if it holds there. But first problem, we've got a couple of pieces missing. There should be oh mosquitoes. Should be 
two bits here to put the rudder on but they're missing and the guy who Stuart bought it from is not answering her messages which is not helpful so the, these things should sit on those so I don't know so I don't know where we can find these bits and there she is <laughs> There's a couple of bits missing. The pins for the rudder that I mentioned and the cleats. Gudgeon and pintles. Yes, I For the out. Genoa. <laughs> it's so cool. The sails are in very good shape. Well, he's never used them. Uh, and we just got to figure out how to tweak. The, the main, the, the main sheet, so it looks like a bag of spanners. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'll have a look at that. We'll have a look at the manual. Oh, it's so cool! I just want to try it, but we can't try it because we can't put the rudder on. It comes with a little jib as well. <laughs> Storm jib. <laughs> Storm jib, yeah. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful boat, that's Marina's boat. <laughs> yeah, as Marina said, we're missing a gudgeon and pintle, a couple of cam cleats just for the Genoa sheets. But uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. I'll, I'll get the bits from the Chandler's tomorrow, and maybe, just maybe, we might be able to get a working uh, boat this season. Imagine that. And action. Yeah, I think if we put some little bungees, the ones we got from Action, just so we can hold the oars in when we're sailing. Yeah. He's holding it, kind of. Yeah. Should we throw it in the water and see what happens? No, Stuart, we don't have a rudder. And? I told you, we'll just use the oar as the rudder. <laughs> Why not? We got a bit of breeze. There's no wind, Stuart. Look, the thing's moving around. I think you're very optimistic. Oh, I think so. Oh, I think so. I think so. As you've seen, we're back in the boat yard. So on the next uh, episodes, you'll see some boat work in Seabird, maybe some dinghy sailing as well. So we'll be back to our refit videos and I didn't want to leave you as always without saying thank you to everyone who is watching and following this adventure. A massive thank you to everyone who is hopefully showing up on the screen. All these people have been supporting us even before we bought Seabird and we are beyond grateful for all your support. Thanks to you we've been able to pay for the mooring and get quite a few bits for the boat so we're super super grateful. I know many people think that it, you earn loads of money with YouTube and well just so you know that's not the case <laughs> and we only set up paper and coffee because people suggested it to us as well as the wish list in Amazon. It's always been someone who's said why don't you do this I will help you out and that's why we created all these things and it's been incredible how generous people are. So thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this episode about my sailing boat. And hopefully see you next week. So until then, I hope you have a lovely week. <laughs>